We are starting the day by stepping out for lunch and heading to Shoreditch, which is known for its food scene and hipster eclectic vibe. We wanted to take in the site, so we decided to walk a few minutes from a hotel in Covenant Garden to Aldwych bus station. It was about a 25 minute bus ride, but we really enjoyed taking in the beautiful architecture, new and old, that London has to offer. Today's lunch spot is a place called Brat. It was highly recommended from a friend of ours and it didn't disappoint. The restaurant had an open kitchen concept and they invited me into the kitchen to get some footage of them in action. Because of this open kitchen concept, the entire restaurant smelled amazing with a conglomerate of smells that made this a very inviting ambiance and experience. With our food, we shared a bottle of sparkling wine from France, and I got a side of whiskey neat. Once we finished our lunch, we decided to walk around Shoreditch to take in all the street art before we caught the tube to Camden Town. Okay, so we are headed to Camden Market right now. Um, we're about to hop on the northern tube line. Camden Town is well known for its market, Camden Market, and it sits along Regent's Canal and adjacent from Regent's Park and offers diverse food from around the world, shopping, and various pubs. It's quite the experience to walk down Camden Street from the tube station to the market. I can see why it's popular amongst tourists and teenagers. We weren't that hungry, so we just absorbed the sights, smells, and vibe before grabbing a pint. After our pint, we headed back to catch a tube to Shoreditch, where we are going to indulge in a happy hour at a place called Sushi Samba. Sushi Samba offers a unique culinary experience with the culmination of three countries, Japan, Brazil, and Peru. This actually worked out really well for us as our dinner reservations were in the same building, but just a couple stories above Sushi Samba. Despite the rain, we love the view. We would highly recommend this spot. Music 
After happy hour, we walked up the stairs to Duck and Waffle, where we met up with our friends for dinner. The ambiance, views, and food were sensational. Would definitely recommend this place if you're ever in London. After Duck and Waffle, we found a local pub that was playing 2000s hip hop and it immediately took me back to my youth. And this concludes day four in London. We hope you enjoyed tagging along. I linked all the places we went to in the description below. Thanks for watching and please check back soon for day five of our London travel series. <laughs>